What are you doing today to prepare for success? That is a question that every justice impacted person should be asking from the very start. And it doesn't matter what stage of the journey you're in. The sooner you start sowing seeds for a better outcome, the better off you are going to be. And you may hear that as a mantra in all the courses and all the work that I create and bring into jails and prisons across America. But it's because we really need a reminder. We need that reminder constantly because there are too many people waiting for other influences to change their life. The reality is that all of us are responsible for being the CEO of our own life. We've got to figure out what do we need to do, how are we going to get there, how are we going to work toward the best outcome, and the sooner we start sowing seeds, the, the stronger we, go we are going to become. I didn't learn that lesson uh, at the start of my journey when I was arrested and facing a very long prison sentence, but it was while after going, having gone through 26 years in federal prison that I really learned the importance of daily activity, of daily pursuit of excellence. And nobody will know how hard I work other than maybe my wife knows because she sees I get out of bed very early every morning before four in the morning and start working on, on success as I define success. What are you defining as success? Is it to get a lower sentence? Is it to have a more successful experience in prison? Is it to come back to society with your dignity intact and opportunities to thrive? Well, I always show I would never ask anybody to do anything that I didn't do. And I show them how they can start sowing seeds today for something better. And today I'm going to be talking about something that, that people may not think about of having any relationship to the to the prison system, and it doesn't. It's the South by Southwest Conference in Austin, Texas. That's what the gonna, is going to be the topic of my journal entry today. But first, I just want to show people how I am doing that. How am I working on that path? And I'm going to make this screen just a little bit smaller so that you so that you all can see our product here, our new project that I want to be presenting at the South by Southwest Conference. So you'll see this is the home page of our new website. And this website is where we are inviting people incarcerated to work to, uh, to memorialize the ways that they are preparing for success. Nobody should work harder than you, regardless of what stage of the journey you're in. Nobody should work harder than you to build yourself a pathway that will lead to the best possible outcome. And this is a beta site. We are developing and I'm investing a lot of resources to put this together so that we can help more justice impacted people get a better outcome. And those who know my work know that I always say I never ask anybody to do anything that I didn't do. And that's why you could always go up here to the search bar if you want to after you've read through the home page, you want to go to the search bar and see, well, what does it mean to start building this pathway that I'm talking about? Well, you've got to build a profile. It's very similar to being out here in society. If you want to succeed, typically you might go to a website like this and I'll switch, I'll switch over here. You might go to this website right here, LinkedIn. You can see my LinkedIn account here. This is a section that we use to reach and connect with people in the professional community. So it kind of profiles my work. It profiles who I am, what I've done, um, why I am a, a worthy candidate or an expert on specific subjects. You'll notice that it has a, a, a section there about me, what I'm doing. It shows my professional experience, the businesses I, I run, my educational background, right? It is a really solid uh, place where people can go and look and see, well, what have you done? Well, this is the same thing we're doing for people in prison. We're creating them an opportunity to memorialize why they are excellent, why they are worthy of, of consideration. And so this is a sample where somebody could send in their profile, a picture of themselves and where they're confined. And then we always ask them to get started on your profile, just like LinkedIn does. We think you need to start with a biography. We think you need to continue by demonstrating your journal. How hard are you working to be successful? How, why are you different from what other people say you are? Um, what books are you reading? Uh, release plans. And so all of these links they have, I'm giving you an example. It's, uh, there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. 
but every one of us has to continuously be marketing ourselves. And that's what I've been doing today and getting ready to uh, prepare a, prevent, uh, a proposal to present at this very big conference, South by Southwest. And I want to just show, I don't know if I'm going to get picked, but I know I have to work. And that's what today's journal entry is all about. We've always got to be working. So let me read today's journal entry first. And if I can read today's journal entry, I'll try and make it bigger here on my screen so you can follow along with me. Um, let's see if I can use a little uh, my limited experience in technology to make it a little bigger on the screen and then move the screen in focus there. So there we have it. And now I'll just continue read. I'll start reading. So this is today's journal and this is from uh, July the 20th, 2023. And it says South by Southwest at the top. So our commitment to reforms that will influence the lives of more than 1 million justice impacted people requires considerable planning. We have got to be innovative to open coalitions, bringing people from diverse backgrounds together. I'm thrilled to collaborate with the founder of Idovo, an ed tech platform that currently reaches more than 200,000 people daily in jails and prisons across America. People who access the Prison Professors course, Preparing for Success After Prison, know that we need reforms to incentivize the pursuit of excellence. We need to reform laws and policies and strive to help more people work toward developing skills that will help them overcome the collateral consequences of a criminal conviction. Yet justice impacted people are only one part of the equation. We also must strive to influence people who don't think they have a relationship with the justice system. That is a more challenging group to reach. With more than $100 billion in government expenditures, many people want to keep the ecosystem of mass incarceration going. Prison profiteers invest heavily to influence taxpayers. Many of the people behind mass incarceration oppose the changes we're advocating to bring, including access to work release programs for people who qualify in federal prison, access to furloughs for people in prison so that they can recalibrate as law-abiding citizens, pathways to earning freedom through merit rather than through the turning of calendar pages. And that's what brings me to South by Southwest. The team at Adovo opened an opportunity for us to get our message out to a broader audience. They invited me to collaborate with Brian Hill, the CEO of Adovo, for a fireside chat at the South by Southwest conference in Austin, Texas. The conference's website describes the conference as an opportunity for the global community of digital creatives to encountering cutting edge ideas, discover new interests, and network with other professionals who share a similar appetite for forward focused experiences. The conferences are highly competitive, requiring an elaborate application process. Early this morning, I worked to prepare my portion of the application. I'll show the application in the video accompanying today's journal entry. It validates the lessons we teach in our course, preparing for success after prison. I'm submitting my portion of the application today, July the 20th, 2023. The deadline for all applications is Sunday, July 23rd. Whether the conference selects our presentation, we must do the work. Had I not spent my time in prison preparing for success, I wouldn't be able to create a compelling presentation. As justice impacted people, we're always auditioning for new opportunities. That means we should work daily to show how our decisions today influence our pathway to success as we define it. I may or may not get an opportunity to reach a global audience by presenting at the South by Southwest Conference. Either way, I must work to build an extraordinary and compelling presentation. If the conference selects us, we get an opportunity to influence more people on the need for reforms that incentivize the pursuit of excellence. If the conference doesn't select us, we will try again. The pursuit of excellence is what we're after. People in prison must do the same. We must always show why we are worthy of opportunities. If we work toward our plans, we will build tools, tactics, and resources that lead us closer to success. We must push ourselves harder, working to prepare for success every day, even though we may not always get the prize. We must keep striving. Although I have been out of prison since August 2013, I continue working every day to advocate for changes that will allow more justice-impacted people to work toward earning freedom. 
because I define success as working to improve outcomes of our nation's jails and prisons, that's, what's a, that's how I'm defining success. But here's the question for you. How do you define success? And for members of our community who are in jails and prisons that want to communicate with us, we encourage you to send an invite to interns at prisonprofessorstalent.com. Um, if you need an address, just please remember this is a virtual address. It goes to a mailbox and we just get thousands of letters. But sometimes people in prison need this address. So it's Prison Professors Charitable Corporation, 32565 Golden Lantern Street, B-1019 in Dana Point, California, 92629. And the phone number associated with that is 818-237-3460. Now I can show you some other things that we're kind of doing here to really profile how much work we're doing. So this is a spreadsheet that members of our team created for me so that we can be tracking. Let me see if I can make that a little bit smaller so that you can see it um, because this is too big. But I'd like you to just kind of see. We're, we're always reaching out to people in prison, um, trying to show them, hey, you are the one that has to work hard to build your pathway to success. So let's see if I can make this bigger. Let's see. I, I, well, it's just something along. The way. You'll just get the idea. These are all people who are part of our community. They're in jails and prisons across America, and they're reaching out to us asking for more information that will help them prepare their pathways for success. With more than a, a million people incarcerated in America, there's just this huge need for these kinds of reforms that we're fighting to build. And those reforms are um, defined, we defined as we, we want to create reforms that will allow people to work toward earning freedom. And that's what this whole website here is all about. It's about really helping administrators understand that, that there, it's good for society. It's good for society to, um, to, to have programs that will lead more people to um, prepare for success upon release. You know, that's, that's what's super important to understand. This isn't so much for, well, certainly not, it, it's, it, this is for anybody in America, I should say, because everybody in America will benefit if we have programs that incentivize a pathway to excellence. That's what truly makes America great, in my view, right? Is that if a person works harder, a person can build more, can create more, can, can develop more value and meaning in society. And we have to show people who are living without hope how they can do it. And prisonprofessorstalent.com offers that experience. Our nonprofit uh, allows us to do this in collaboration with um, other businesses and, and individuals who are like-minded and who really want to um, see that the reforms that will lead, that will kind of stop the intergenerational cycles of recidivism and improve pathways from people in prison who, who want to re recalibrate and rejoin society and be a part of the fabric of society. That's what our view is really all about. That's what our nonprofit is about. We've got a business that supports our nonprofit and I'm very committed to it as the founder of the company. That's why we donate 10% of all revenues that we bring in. We donate those to fund our nonprofit, but we're always looking to expand because one person can't do it. There is, like I wrote, an ecosystem built around this. And that's why we have to not only connect with people in prison and ask them, hey, be a part of the solution, right? Develop skills that's gonna show you're successful. And I'm gonna work outside to bring more awareness on how hard you're working. But you know, you kind of have to memorialize these journey. It's one of the reasons that we produce daily journals. We wanna show people that the harder you work, the more opportunities will open. And you've always gotta prepare yourself for the many trolls out there that want to hurt your pathway to success. And there are many, they're all over society. When you are justice impacted, you have to anticipate there will always be trolls working against you. And you have to be strong enough to overcome them. A daily journal will help you build your pathway and forge new alliances and collaborations and coalitions 
that help you success as you define it. One more thing, I wanted to show you what the application looks like to go into a conference like South by Southwest. So I'll share my screen and this is a kind of a redacted file, but it shows just how comprehensive it is. And what, general, what happened on this particular one is the, um, my partner, a collaborator is at Adovo, they did an initial draft of it and wrote what they suggested. And you'll see here in red, I'm, this is how I collaborate, right? I'm giving, they, they suggested a journey of redemption, empowering incarcerated minds. I offered some other, some suggestions for our title, including disrupting mass incarceration, empowering incarcerated minds, ed tech and prison reform, earning freedom with education, bending the arc of incarceration, pathways to liberty, making good neighbors. So these are all just suggestions that I gave for this chat. Then I also, um, so what you see in red here is kind of how I collaborate. Um, we, you know, it's a back and forth. It's always a back and forth. And, um, but I just thought it would be helpful for people in prison to kind of see it. So I'm profiling it here. There's, these are the areas that I'm suggesting they consider offering um, to the, the people that will judge our presentation. In 2012, a 26 year old tech entrepreneur began collaborating with a man who had just finished serving 26 years in prison with Adovo, an ed tech platform. They reach more than 200,000 people daily. They're on the path to teaching 1 million people in jails and prisons across America. A researcher from UCLA works with them to gather data showing how education influences the incarcerated. By teaching more people how to teach themselves, we open pathways for people to earn freedom through merit. Self-directed learning can help 100,000 plus people earn freedom, showing a commitment to law-abiding lives. So that's just a suggestion I am offering because we want to, well, we have to let people who don't know anything about prisons understand why is this an important topic for uh, the technology community, global technology community. So we offer these three takeaways um, and those, they're in blue. That means I did not offer those takeaways. That's what Adobo offered. Um, scrolling down a little more, we talk about the proposed speakers. This is what I'm, I'm trying to show you is that y this is a, um, an effort that each person has to make. I, this is my bio for them. Michael Santos, founder, when serving 26 years in federal prison, Michael learned from leaders like Frederick Douglass, Socrates, and Nelson Mandela. They helped him. It's funny, this thing doesn't, didn't record all the letters. Understand that through earning, learning and writing, he could earn freedom. He earned a bachelor's and a master's degree during imprisonment. He published several books and used his background to form Prison Professors Charitable Corp, a nonprofit to help others learn how to work toward earning freedom. Through his for-profit business, Earning Freedom, Michael sponsors his nonprofit. He's on a quest to teach more than one million people in prison. His customers include the Federal Bureau of Prisons and the California Department of Corrections. And he collaborates with Adovo to teach uh, their justice impacted people how to prepare for success after prison. So though I couldn't do that. I couldn't write that kind of information if I did not do all of that work in prison. And that's, you know, they're asking here, what is this speaking experience? Well, I can write all of that. And of course, I've got a lot of credentials. I show it to people that's like, you know, I can show those credentials by taking them to a, a personal website, which I can like show you right here michaelsantos.com. I can go to my keynote speaking section and, and you'll see there on the right, there's like, you know, all kinds of, of um, keynotes that they can sit there and look. So, oh yeah, he speaks all over the country and he's always striving to change the system, right? So, so it's very important that you start working today so that you can, you know, sell yourself because you've always got to be auditioning. They're asking about books. So, you know, I give them a sample of, of a book that's, that's, that was reviewed by, you know, the Los Angeles um, Times, uh, New York Times. I give them all kinds of credibility because you have to be auditioning. You have to be able to overcome the challenges that afflict all justice impacted people. And the sooner you start, you sooner you start contemplating that, the stronger you're going to be. So I just wanted to add that. Just to show you, I'm never asking you to do anything I didn't do. I'm Michael Santos. I believe in you.